cut with my CNC 3018 um, a couple, quite a few times now and I am getting ready to do another video on another cut and before I am I'm going to go through the maintenance of it I need to double check everything I have a couple loose things that I'm going to show you and uh, I thought well instead of doing it why don't I just push record and get it all started recording so um, let's get started this is what I would recommend to do every you know four or five cuts maybe longer every definitely every few hours of cutting if you have a brand new machine absolutely go through this whole thing before you even start cutting and um, if you have cut then I would do this frequently so you see my machine here I'm gonna go over some points with you of the different places that uh, you need to check so all of the moving parts when you put it together you see you have um, two Allen two Allen head screws here and here and then you also have one up here and then you have one in the very back down here you also have um, well you have the uh, um, the bearings in here that the uh, the threaded pieces in here and then you also have like a, um, a bear uh, threaded piece here and then here it comes through and so there's different places that you need to lube frequently and there's different things you should check so one of the things I want to show you is on my machine, I saw someone else had mentioned this in the group. These, I call them collets, but these uh, bearings here slide up. And so when my machine comes up and down, when it goes down, sometimes these stay up. And I recommend getting, so I have got some, just some regular Loctite, if you could see. Um, basically, I've already Loctited all of my Allen, Allen heads, and I'm going to take one off to show you why. But I'm also going to put a drop right here. You do not want it to touch this. You do not want it to touch your rod because this is going up and down the shaft there and you don't want it to go. So basically I'm going to put just a little dab right here, if you can see it, and, and let it dry and then that should hopefully stop it from coming up. Also you can double check this but I have not had any problems with this coming loose yet. So first thing I'm going to do is you can just take your brush that you use on your thing and you want to you want to dust off all the little spots where you have your Allen wrenches and stuff. And I've already cleaned most of mine up. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to pull it right here so you can see it. I'm going to show you this one here. If you can listen how hard this is to take off, because I already have Loctite on here. So if you saw that, that was pretty difficult to get off because it was pretty stuck. But once your machine is together, everything's good. Only do one at a time. Because now it's all set, you don't want to take this one off, then you're going to lose all your adjustments and all that. So right now it's still set in place, and we're only going to do one at a time. So in this case, I recommend putting it on the threads instead of inside of the hole. So just put like a little, little bit, if you can see it here, where my camera is. Just going to put a little bit. Just a little bit, and that's, that's plenty, if you can see that. And then I'm going to put it in there. And I'm gonna, sorry, I hit the camera. I'm screwing in. If you can, nice and snug. And if you can see, the blue on the outside, that's gonna dry. And when that dries, it's gonna be really tight. So I would definitely do that. And then what you could do is spin around this one and now take this one off and um, put the Loctite on there. If you've already done it, I would leave it. You could just double check it. How I double check mine is I simply put this in there and it's pretty snug. It's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna assume it's still snug pretty well. So I would recommend doing that with all of them. Even up here, whoops, the wrong way here. You have one Allen wrench here and it is still really snug. And you've got another one on the other side and do the same thing there. So I would recommend doing that both here, only one at a time, put it on the threads itself and then put it inside. And the same thing for the very back. There's one back here, let me turn my camera so you can see right here. Definitely do both of those. As you can probably see from the camera, I've already done it and there's still blue all around it. So it's pretty snug. I've already checked it. Um, they have not come loose at all, which is a good thing. Um, Definitely just check them, just make sure every so often, yeah, they're good. Every so often, dust them off, make sure they're still there. Sometimes you'll even, if it comes loose, one even might come out and you may not even know it because one still has it in place, but just make sure it's cleaned off pretty good. So here, I have a problem with 
this sleeve coming up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hopefully you can try and see me do this, I'm going to put a little dot right there. And um, I kind of don't feel comfortable doing it, but I don't want to get it on. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable like that. So I'm actually going to put it on my pencil. Just a little bit like that. And then I'm actually going to put the pencil just like that. Because I do not want to get this shaft. Just want to put it right on that and so that it's just on the edge, I don't know if you can see it, of the metal on the outside edge. And hopefully that will stop it from moving up. You definitely got to let it dry. If you let it dry overnight, it would be the best thing. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And actually, you might even be able to see this side's actually up a little bit. So, I'm actually going to get something to push that down. Hold on. Uh, definitely don't use a screwdriver or an Allen wrench. Use a piece of wood because you don't want to scratch any of that up. So, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put a little on my pencil. Whoop. Right there. And I'm going to put some right here. So, if you can see that right there. Just got a little dab. Do not want to get it on there. Got a little dab right there. When that dries, that should help hold it from coming up. I actually have that problem a couple times and I didn't catch it till they slid up and if they slide up, it allows this head to move um, in and out and it's just going to mess your whole project up. And I'll tell you something else, I've had it do that and when this raised up, it pushed the collar back in and at one time I never even knew that it did it until um, afterwards and it messed up my cut. So that's a possibility of sometimes why you could have your cut messed up. So another thing um, I hear people talking about, um, things start to get squeaky and um, should you lube it, what do you lube it with? So you always want a dry lube. I love it with Teflon. It's my favorite thing. I get it at any of my local hardware stores. Um, you can get it at Amazon, whatever, but you definitely want a dry loop. You do not want something that is wet. Just kind of, if you want to get an idea, if you take a piece of grease, you put it on here and put sawdust all over it, what's going to happen is it's going to stick to it like there's no tomorrow, you're nothing you can do about it. This stuff, when you spray it, as you can see it spray, and then it almost instantly dries into nothing. So you can see now it's nothing on my finger. and that now is almost completely gone. So what I normally do is I don't spray any here because you don't want to put any on the, on the motor. It's not going to need it. All of the moving parts. So for example, over here is one common place down in here. So you have these, sorry, these threads right here. Let me wipe my blue stuff off. You got the threads right here going through a, um, I guess you want to call it a gear which makes this move left and right, and that squeaks a lot. So I'll actually shoot a dab in there, just a little bit, not a lot, shoot a dab in there, and then it'll quiet down. Sometimes I will, as you can see, you can see the white, I've shot it before, just shoot a dab in there. Not a lot, just a little bit, you know, and that's it. And most of the time it quiets down and it runs perfect. Another spot is right here. This runs here and sometimes it'll squeak, and so I'll just, you know, shoot a dab in there real quick and you're good to go. So that there, that there are the main places. There is one more that I have not really had to do, which is right here. And technically you kind of can't do it while it's running because you can't get to it. So if it, it really doesn't, I haven't had a need to put it there. So um, just so you know, that's, that's what you should use is the dry lube uh, for sure. Definitely that. Never spray nothing up here on the motor. None of that. Nothing in the motor here. Nothing in here. Definitely nothing in here. Just the places where it's going to be moving on the gears. And that's pretty much it. This is the other spot sometimes right here, but um, I don't think I've actually had to spray it here. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for my maintenance. Um, one other thing you can do is just kind of turn it around and Make sure you're free of everything back here. You can see where I've sprayed it before. Just kind of wipe it down 
make sure everything's kind of clear. You know, um, nothing's no piece of wood, nothing's stuck in here. Everything's good. Um, one other thing I want to tell you is it really isn't that big of a deal. But when you see the machine running back and forth and back and forth, you're going to see little end circles here. I like to sometimes just take a little rag, paper towel, whatever, and just wipe them off. Wouldn't hurt. I don't put any lubricant on this at all. I've never had to, and I don't think I would. Um, it's not going to need it. But just make sure it kind of stays free and clean. As you can see, this Teflon stuff just wipes right off with my hand. And that's pretty much it. That's the basis. Um, the squeaking is probably that. And the bearing under the bottom there. And the uh, definitely the one uh, right here. I'm sorry, the other one was right in here. This one has not needed it. There's a bearing in, or a, a gear in there, also in, or a, a threaded thing. And it has not needed it. And... Um, I just I never had the problem because it doesn't move as much as this one does so as you can see I got to let those dry they did not get on the shaft here that should stop them from going up and um, that's pretty much it hope that helped I definitely want to do this every so often and uh, definitely if you have a brand new machine to to do this so I hope that helped everyone and um, if you have any questions feel free to let me know thank you Jungle.